Hello, welcome to chemistry session. This is topic number three, methods of uh, uh, purification. So the objectives of uh, this topic are as follows. By the end of uh, this lesson, you should be able to, to describe uh, methods of separation and purification for components of mixtures, including use of suitable solvent, filtration, crystallization and uh, evaporation, sublimation, distillation and fractional distillation, use of separating funnel, paper chromatograph. B, suggest suitable separation and uh, purification method given information about substances involved in the following types of mixture, that is uh, solid to solid, uh, solid to liquid, liquid and liquid, that is immiscible and immiscible liquids. We are going to understand all this as we go on with our lesson. Interpret paper chromatograms including comparisons with unknown samples, use uh, RF values, explain the need for use of locating agents in the chromatograph of colorless compounds, uh, deduce uh, from the given information, you conclude from the given information, the melting point and boiling point, the identities of substances and their purity. F, explain that uh, the measurement of purity in substances uh, used in daily lives, e.g. foodstuff and drugs, are important because if you uh, they manufacture a drug that has impurities, it can cause health problems to consumers or people. So the first method we are going to look at is uh, filtration. This is very important. You need to know the substances that can be uh, filtered or that can be separated using filtration. So key important issues for you to do filtration, you need a filter paper, you need a filter funnel, and you need uh, uh, a collecting vessel, which is uh, in this case the conical flask then uh, you need to identify the name given to a substance that will remain on the filter paper and uh, the liquid that will pass through the filter paper to be collected into the conical uh, flask. So filtration uh, is used to separate a mixture of liquid uh, which is a solution and an insoluble solid. So the key word is insoluble solid. An insoluble solid Solid is a solid that cannot dissolve in a solvent. For example, um, the most common solvent we know is water. So this is a solid that cannot dissolve in water. An example of, of such is a, uh, is a stone or sand. So we are going to use sand. Uh, it cannot dissolve in water. So we can separate sand from this solution. So the insoluble solid is collected as a residue. So a residue is a solid that remains on the filter paper here, while the liquid that you see collecting here down uh, is a filtrate, it's called filtrate. So the way they ask questions, they will just put a letter Z here and they will not write filtrate. Then they say, uh, what special name is given to uh, the, the substance collected here? Uh, labeled as Z. So in that case, your answer is just simply filtrate. Or they can label here, they remove the word residue, then they tell you to give a name that is a residue, what remains on top. So first of all, you need to identify the apparatus and the, the method being uh, uh, applied and also the structures or other pieces supporting apparatus that can be lead you to identifying the, the process which is filtration and also the substance that remains there you need to recall that it's a residue the one that uh, gets into the conical flask is a filtrate so this is basically filtration process as a method of uh, separation then the next one is evaporation so what are we supposed to separate through evaporation? So this method is used to evaporate off a solvent from a solution to obtain dissolved substances. So this is only applicable to substances that do not decompose upon heating. So uh, the vapor will come out of and the solution okay, will evaporate. And then what will remain is uh, 
uh, a substance that you want to separate from that uh, particular solution. Then the third one is crystallization. Crystallization can be used to recover dissolved substances from its solution. So this method is particularly useful for substances that de decompose. So for evaporation, for substances that do not decompose, for a crystallization, for substances that uh, de decompose upon applying heat. So this is carried out by heating a solution until it's saturated, meaning the moisture and solution is uh, removed and then you have a concentrated de a uh, solution there we, where you can uh, form crystals so the saturated solution is then left to cool allowing for the substance to crystallize so for example we have saturated copper to sulfate solution there and then uh, as you can see copper crystals are formed there so this is copper to sulfate crystal crystals formed so this is crystallization these crystals they are being formed from a saturated uh, copper to sulfate solution okay so this is uh, the end of uh, this topic uh, the, 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 the lesson for today not the topic in the next topic we'll talk about sublimation and other separation methods or techniques thank you so much for your attention